All right, uh, this video is meant to help you out with combining like terms with distributions. I'm going to pop that in the objective here um, after I get my stylus in my hand. So combining like terms with distribution. Uh, so I'll pop my name up here. Um, I'm before school right now, and it is the 8th. Um, so our central question here is, um, how do I handle like terms and distribution together. And so my first question is, um, what should I do first? Um, it's as a general sort of rule of thumb, you don't always have to do it this way, um, but you should, if you have the opportunity, um, distribute first. And so if I have a qu an equation like 15 uh, plus 3 times 3y plus 4, uh, if I'm dealing with that equation, I should deal with the parentheses or the distribution first. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. So 1, distribute. So I'll do 3 times 3. And 3 times 4, so I get 15 plus 9y plus 12. And then my second thing is going to be to combine like terms. Um, and so I only see two like terms, the 15 and the 12. Um, those will come together uh, to make 27 plus 9y. And that's exactly what I can type into my answer there. Um, so we distribute first, then you combine like terms. Let's ask another question here. Of what should I be careful? And so there's some common mistakes here, and I think they mostly come up when you're dealing with negatives. So let's say you're dealing with 15 minus 3 times 3y minus 4. Um, so when you're dealing with the distribution first, you have to notice that this is actually a negative 3. So I'm going to write um, over here in bright pink, notice negatives when distributing. Exclamation mark. I'm feeling kind of in an exclamatory mood. So um, we do negative 3 times 3y and negative 3 times negative 4. And so I'll get 15 minus 9y and then negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12. And so you got to carry that negative through and change the sign of everything on the inside. Um, the last thing that I'll, I'll tell you to be careful of is to um, notice... leading negatives um, uh, for parentheses. And so I mean something like this. So if I'm dealing with a problem like 6 minus, and then I'll have inside negative x plus 2. Um, if I'm dealing with that, I have to be very careful to notice I have this negative sign on the outside of the parentheses. That just means to change the sign of everything on the inside. And so this becomes 6 minus a negative is like adding x. And then minusing a positive is like subtracting 2. Um, and so I can go on from there. If you were to finish these problems, of course, you'd get 27 minus 9y. And here you'd end up with 4 plus x. And so it's going to be the same set of steps every single time, distribute and then combine like terms. Um, but you do have to play with some negatives and deal with that a little bit. Um, so just be careful about it when you're doing the exercises. Good luck. Oh, and also make sure that you write a summary here um, that answers the essential question, how do I handle like terms and distribution together?